In this second video of two on modifications to orthotics, we're going to talk about applying heel lifts, uh, wedges to the backs of the heels, as well as reverse Morton's extension to orthotics. Now you can see this orthotic already has a reverse Morton's extension on there, but you can use this template, cut out an actual uh, rep replica of this, and then what you're going to do is you're going to glue this onto the orthotic. And before you glue it on, it's very important that at the very end of that pad, you taper it. And if you look very closely, you can see there's a nice smooth transition there. And the way we're going to do that is in all the drawers, uh, especially at this office here in Keller and other grapevine officers, little pieces of wood, just scrap wood that we had from uh, the, you know, the uh, workbench. What you're going to do is turn on the grinder on high, and what you want to do is use that grinder to actually smooth the edge. And I'm going to use a, a sample piece just so I don't ruin that pad. But what you do is you can basically, by using the wood, it helps to create a nice smooth transition at the end of the pad, and it's very quick. So you can see, if you look at the, in the film there, there's a slight angle to the tip of that. And that's how you want to end any uh, 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 reverse Morton's extension at the very end there. And then you would obviously glue that on. The other pads do heel lifts. You know, I always use this to cut it. You can notice that when we do that, it's slightly larger than the actual heel itself on the shoe. And that's purposeful. So that once you glue it down first, then you would actually grind the excess off the device. And then it looks like the factory actually put it on them themselves. The most common type that we'll put on are these little wedges in the backs of the heels. And you can see how I've marked on this device. This is how the doctor will present it to you. They'll mark it, you cut the pad to size, and then what we have to do after that is actually taper the inner portion. If you look at this one, you can see it's, it's tapered on the edge there. I'm going to actually use this one as an example, but it's tapered on the side. And that's what you're going to want to do so that when the patient puts this on the table and they try to rock that foot, or, or when they walk, excuse me, and you put it on the table, you don't see that rock that, that we don't want to occur. So literally once you've glued it on there, you grind off the excess on the outside, and then while holding the, the device up here, slowly grind off a smooth taper on the side. And that's how we do modifications of orthotics here at FAM.